100% real, as I said on the radio yesterday, and as I said here yesterday, uh, it's 100% real. In our national lead, Sandy Hook happened. It's 100% real. That's the admission Alex Jones made on the stand today, but does he mean it? The trial for the far-right conspiracy theorist and radio host will determine how much Jones owes for defaming the parents of a six-year-old who was among the 20 children killed in the Newtown, Connecticut school shooting. Jones's lies about the victims of Sandy Hook and their families led to years of harassment by his deranged fans. Some of the parents even had to change their addresses. We should note Alex Jones is a full-fledged member of Team MAGA. Trump went on his show when running for president in 2015. Jones was part of the January 6th insanity. CNN's Miguel Marquez was tracking the developments in the courtroom today where the jury could begin deliberating at any moment. Conspiracist Alex Jones facing reality. Questioned by the lawyer representing parents of six-year-old Sandy Hook victim, Jesse Lewis. You and your company want the world to believe that this judge is rigging this court proceeding to make sure that a script, a literal script, is being followed. That's what you want the world to believe, right? Aren't I barred from talking about this? I'm asking you the question, Mr. Jones. Answer the way the court works is you answer a question until there's an objection. Jones struggling to answer without being contradicted by either his own words or those being said by others on his behalf. Just last Friday, Robert Barnes filled in for Jones on his Infowar show. So that's why the judge is rigging the court proceeding to make sure that the script, this is literally a script, a script gets told in a certain way for future audiences. Jones's cross-examination follows withering testimony from Scarlett Lewis, Jesse's mother. She faced down Jones, the man who told and fanned lies that the mass murder at Sandy Hook never happened, her son Jesse never existed, and his mother merely an actress. To have someone on top of that perpetuate a lie, a lie, that it was a hoax, that it didn't happen, that it was a false flag, that I'm an actress, and you get on and you say, oh, sorry, but I know actresses when I see them. Do you think I'm an actress? No, I don't think you're an actress. No, you can't talk right now. Jones, under pressure, found liable in three separate defamation lawsuits brought by the families of 10 victims of the Sandy Hook massacre. The jury for this case determining how much Jones must pay for his lies. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. The parent's lawyer establishing Jones made hundreds of millions of dollars over several years based on text messages from his phone, evidence Jones didn't realize they had, catching him in another lie. Twelve days ago, your attorneys messed up and sent me an entire digital copy of your entire cell phone with every text message you've sent for the past two years, and when informed, did not take any steps to identify it as privileged or protected in any way. And as of two days ago, it fell free and clear into my possession. And that is how I know you lied to me when you said you didn't have text messages about Sandy Hook. Did you know that? I See, I told you the truth. This is your Perry Mason moment. I gave them my phone. Jones testified earlier in a deposition that he searched the text messages on his phone for the term Sandy Hook, and it came back with okay. no hits. And I had several, several different phones with this number, but I did, yeah. Well, of course, I mean, that's why you got it. No, Mr. Jones, that's not why I have it. My lawyer sent it to you, but I'm hiding it. Okay. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones, that's just answer questions. Jones's defense? On his show, he's only asking questions, and the mainstream media is taking everything he says out of context. Now, the family of Jesse Lewis are asking for up to $150 million in damages. The uh, defense lawyers for Mr. Jones are doing their closing arguments right now. We expect the jury may have this case any time uh, this afternoon, and then it'll be in their hands to decide what he's liable for. Jake? Miguel, if the jury decides to award a large amount of money to the family, what's the chance that the parents will actually see the money? 
That is already a growing question, not only this family, but others. Remember, there are three different defamation cases that he has now been held liable for, or he's liable in, and the families are concerned that he's using bankruptcy laws to hide tens of millions of dollars uh, that he, in profits, in order to keep that from liability in these cases. So I think we're going to see a lot more litigation and, and many more lies ahead. Jake? All right, Miguel Marquez, thank you so much for that report.